You're almost through, guys. You're doing a great job. You know, this is harder than actually working on AI. We need the agentic AI to do it for us. Can AI in healthcare be trusted? Hello, I'm Rudolf Katra, Global Chief AI Officer for Medtronic, and this is Health Tech Untapped. Let's get going. Today, we have a very special guest, Dr. David Rue, Global Chief Medical Officer at Microsoft and VP of Healthcare. Thank you very much for having me. So when people think of Microsoft, they may not think healthcare. Can you explain your role as the Global Chief Medical Officer at Microsoft? There's an incredible amount of technology that's being developed. It's moving at rapid speed. A lot of people are interested in artificial intelligence. But on the other end, we have a healthcare system that's complex, it's fragmented, it's uh, regulated, and there's many individuals that would love to use it, but we're trying to figure out the best way to do it. So my role is to translate some of that technology into things that have meaning, that allow us to be able to understand how it creates clinical and operational value. Oh, and that translation is incredibly important with this technology. Thank you. And with that, it's time to ask, what the health? What are the benefits of integrating AI in healthcare? It could potentially increase access to care, allow us to identify individuals that we probably would never even know we have a condition, but AI has found it. So you're mentioning the benefit to patients, uh, the benefit to clinicians and the benefit through access and uh, the and healthcare system. Exactly, and the benefit to society. You think about some of the biggest problems we have today, access to affordable healthcare, access to information that gives us the understanding of when we should seek healthcare, the ability for us to be able to reduce the total cost of care. All of those things could be potentially addressed with artificial intelligence and some of the capabilities we have. And that's what's really exciting about this. Yeah, that's very exciting. What do you think about AI in healthcare? Can it be trusted? Yeah, trust is a, a very important element to any technology. And as we think about artificial intelligence, trust needs to be at the patient level. Clinicians need to trust it. Organizations need to trust it. Society needs to trust it. But to think about what are the different aspects of it, it can be trusted to be reliable. Is it actually having the right results? Uh, is it uh, propagating bias or is it something that we feel uh, is been addressed in terms of our understanding of how it can be equitably deployed. It requires a lot of people, a lot of testing, a lot of monitoring. And what we are looking to do is bring together organizations to learn from each other and to be able to apply technologies to make things more efficient. So we're gonna mix things up a little bit. We're gonna play a game called Vital or Vital. Vital being accurate and here to stay and impactful. Vital being a hype or something that would fade over time. You ready? I'm ready. There's a lot of talk about AI and hallucinations. Do you think that's vital or viral? What's your take on that? Mm. Okay. All right. Oh, amazing. <laughs> amazing. Both. We, yes. we, we got the same answer. All right. So why don't you tell me what led into your uh, answer that way, and I will tell you mine. I think when most people think of the word hallucinations, they have a very negative connotation about that. But in some cases, it actually may be helpful to have these uh, ideas that are generated. So let's imagine that you are a patient that has been struggling with care and you've been trying to figure out, why am I not getting better? I wish somebody could tell me, am I, am I missing something? And then you would, you would be able to go to the generative AI and it would come up with a list of things. And on that list is something that I've never heard of and start looking it up and it goes, that sounds just like what I'm having. And then you present it to your doctor and the doctor says, you know what? I had never thought of that. That actually has happened. Hmm. But at the same time, you know, we're very concerned about, is it gonna give us the wrong information? Right. And, and what we're also seeing in that is that in many cases, the models are getting a lot better. Yeah, there was a study that showed uh, generative AI do, performing 99th percentile on medical exams. So this is extremely uh, interesting in terms of performance, like you were saying. Absolutely. So from my end, I, I, I agree. I think hallucinations are real, but it's a transient thing as the technology matures. And I think most of the time people are conflating generative AI with algorithmic AI. But um, I agree with you, it's both. It is a phase, it's gonna pass away, but it also can stimulate creativity and allow for a lot of healthcare uh, innovations in that sense. Absolutely. We'll switch to another one. Okay. We're gonna erase our boards. 
According to the World Economic Forum, there will be a global deficit of about 13 million healthcare professionals globally by 2035. And AI is believed to be able to play a role in solving this, viral or viral. One, two. Okay, I think we agree. Yeah. Um, but let's see if we have the same talking points to, <laughs> uh, to this answer. So what do you think? Well, we know that there just aren't enough clinicians. There are not enough clinicians in the United States and in developing countries as well. The clinicians are in primary care, they're in subspecialty care, and we have to figure out ways that we can build capacity. I totally agree. And I think, I also think it's vital. And if you step outside of the context of your example, globally, you may be able to have access to care in certain areas, but we worry about healthcare deserts, areas where there may not be adequate healthcare services. AI could help with some of that deficit. Absolutely. We're going to find that AI may have the greatest impact in rural and underserved communities Agreed. across the globe. Agreed. It also impacts the patient. The patient now has an opportunity to have a real conversation right. with, the, with the clinician. And sometimes it's during those conversations that you pick up the most valuable pieces of information. Dr. Rue, it's tech time. Technology is a critical tool in healthcare. As we've established, AI is playing a big role. So let's talk about innovations that will transform uh, health tech moving forward. What are emerging trends you're seeing uh, for AI uh, in healthcare? Well, I think AI has done a really good job in terms of helping us uh, better answer questions, be able to answer things that perhaps we were wondering about or could inform us of things. But we're moving towards a point where it's actually starting to do things. It's actually starting to become much more of a companion for us. We call them agents. Agents are uh, mechanisms where AI can do certain tasks, but it's oftentimes done in relationship to one particular individual. But where we're moving also is not just one agent doing one task, but a series of agents doing a series of subtasks. So this whole concept of agent-to-agent -agent communications and collaborations all being managed by humans, that's going to be super exciting because it's going to allow us to be able to address a lot of the labor issues that we have. If it requires a human to do every single task, we'll always be bottlenecked. But as you move into this space of agentic AI and potentially even robotics, we're going to have a much better opportunity to be able to leverage AI. Yeah, I, I, I agree. And we're seeing trends of uh, that being applied to move from more generalizable care to more personalizable care. So this AI trend has been evolving and it's making healthcare more uh, predictive, preventative, and uh, more personalized. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the fact that we've been gathering a lot of information about individuals that they could then potentially uh, use with the AI to make that care something that is specific for them. That's really important because we don't want sort of that one size fits all. Right. We want to make sure that the care that's delivered is specific for you. And that's a wrap for today's episode of Health Tech Untapped. Thank you, Dr. Ru, for joining me. It's been my pleasure. And thanks for everyone who came along. Hopefully you picked up an insight along the way. Until next time.